All right, let's do this one more time、uh, using the sum or the difference of cubes, since it does take a little bit of practice to figure out what pieces are being cubed and where all of those pieces need to go. So we need to recognize for this first one something cubed plus something cubed. Well, k cubed looks like my first one, and let's see, what cubed would give me sixty-four? That would have to be four. So we'll think of breaking this down into one small piece and one larger piece. Now we'll go ahead and write down what these pieces are. So I have k, four, k squared, k times four, and four squared. Now that we have all of our pieces, let's go ahead and put in our signs. Same, opposite. And positive. Don't forget this last step, where we really just go ahead and clean everything up. So k plus four, k squared minus four k plus sixteen. Now another thing that、uh, you may sometimes be really tempted to do is sometimes you look at the second one. And it seems like you should be able to factor it in some sort of way. However, this is really as far as it goes. So feel free to just leave it as it is. All right, let's try one last one. This one is twenty-seven x cubed minus sixty-four y cubed. So something cubed plus something cubed. All right, what cubed would give us a twenty-seven? That must be a three. And x cubed would give us an x cubed. Okay, so that looks good.、Uh, to get a sixty-four, this must be a four y. Oops, make sure we have our negative sign in there. All right, now that we have that, so we'll break down into a smaller one and a much larger one. So our pieces are three x and four y. Be very careful as you put in those pieces in the、uh, much larger one. Remember, we have three x squared. We have three x times four y, and we have four y. All of that squared. One common mistake I see with these is many people will only square, say, just the y, but it's the entire thing that needs to be squared: the four and the y. All right.、Uh, let's put in some signs. So same, opposite, and positive. All right. Now one last step. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Three x minus four y. Now I have the entire thing, three x being squared. So that'll be nine x squared. Three、uh, times four would be a twelve. So twelve x y. And four y squared, sixteen y squared. So now this one is factored completely. So definitely、uh, get familiar with these special formulas. They can save you lots of time and work, so you don't have to go through as much. Remember to look for those key patterns、uh, when using these formulas, and always remember that we don't have a sum of of squares formula. So watch out for that one. Thank you for watching Educator.com.